much respect as this series comes to an a end. Magnificent Game 7 performance sending home the Clippers. What a battle! The Los Angeles Lakers eliminate the Houston Rockets. Frustration for the Bucks. Plus you see Jonathan down the bubble. TNT. Way over here. So much has happened in the NBA bubble. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Was that an ankle? So as the journey comes to an end. A shocking upset. The best team in the NBA is gone. We're asking players to give us their last word on their NBA bubble experience. So what are your last words on this bubble experience? <laughs> last words? Um, last words would be... Oh, that's tough for me right now. Uh, I don't know which one to say, but I just lost, so I don't really care what's going on the bubble now. I'm ready to go home. I guess I get to see my kids and my family. I'm not really sure next question. The bubble is a bubble. It was challenging. Uh, it was an experiment, uh, an experience. And think I'm gonna lose. Uh, disappointed, of course, but. You know, it's an experience I'll never forget. Our mission was to come down here and be the last team standing. We fell short of that. I think that this will, whoever's crowd change will be very good because it's definitely the toughest, you know, the toughest time I've had in the NBA. Obviously, it didn't, end up, it didn't end how we wanted it to, but overall, the experience, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of craziness in this world. I'm just happy that the NBA, uh, you know, myself can give something for the world to be excited about and proud about. We celebrate the hill of stars back to back like it's no tomorrow. I thought it was good. We didn't end up accomplishing what we wanted to and what we needed, uh, but I thought we had a lot of fun. Pain that's on my face right now, the way I feel. I can't imagine this. It's going through uh, these different families. I think the job is getting done as far as what we came here for. Um, and I'm not talking about finishing the season. Um, I'm talking about coming together as a brotherhood and getting our message across. First time guys have ever worn these messages on their jerseys for, uh, that, I can, that I know of, especially for this amount of time. And uh, you know, the main thing that we, we were trying to do here was push that message, um, as well as play a game that we, that we love, that, that that's our job. There's a lot of uh, injustice still happening with the black community. Justice with Breonna Taylor, justice for everybody, you know, every black American out there, you know, that, that are being harmed by police and police brutality. I appreciate the NBA and everybody in this league for continuing to push that message because it's not, not, not stop. The job isn't done yet, um, and we can't stop until black lives really do matter. to you uh, a few months ago when they told us about the bubble. Uh, none of us were really excited about it. You know, we were all skeptical coming into it, just uh, you know, with unprecedented times, not knowing what's going to go on. Obviously, playing in a place like this with no family, no fans, uh, it, it was tough. Kind of happy of the way we were able to keep uh, the game of basketball going at the highest level and at the same time keep people safe. NBA did a good job of, uh, you know, hosting this event. As a whole, I think they made it really, they made it really fun for us. You know, it's, it's a basketball paradise. It was also very fun to compete against so many peers, you know, in this space, this AAU-like atmosphere. It was way more than I expected. Um, super fun. Give me a chance to, to bond with my teammates in the post um, and get back to the game I love. I just want to say thank you to everybody that prepared the food, uh, that made everything as comfortable as can be for the players and everybody staying here. I, I, I really am grateful for your sacrifice. Now, I just want to thank everyone that was involved in, in this bubble. Uh, you guys made it you know, much easier for us to be here. The NBA did an unbelievable job keeping everything professional and us protected. We have to continue to keep that momentum going. Our run is over um, and, you know, I'll continue going back to doing my work. We will use our platform and able to not only compete on the court, but be champions off the court for our communities. We used our, uh, our platform for our voices to be heard in the social injustices. You know, we're still trying to send a message and talk to the world, and we still gonna keep doing that. Celebrate the progress, that's how we mobbing. To come together as a, as a group and, and try to figure out ways to continue to impact society, I think we've continued to do that, and hopefully we continue to, to uplift. We made a difference in the, in the world um, with our short time here, 
and uh, it's gonna continue to, to be a good thing for, for everybody in the league. For me, I just turn my focus back, uh, you know, to some of these problems that we have going on and being able to, to help out, uh, you know, help out in whatever ways I can. Definitely um, one experience, you know, our lifetime and, and something that we never thought would happen. It was a tough process, but, you know, I was glad I was a part of it. We are all part of history. I think overall it shows that basketball will continue throughout any event. That's Jared Allen. Oh, Jared Allen. Basketball will always bring people together. We can have a voice while playing basketball, and I'll be at another bubble event. So I think the bubble was a success. And uh, yeah, time to lead this mother. <laughs>